Hi, hello, and uh, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick comparison on some products that I have purchased in the past. So let's go into cleansers. We all know that there are a million types of cleansers out there. There's the foaming, there's the... Um, the oil cleansers and just the basic cream cleansers. So this one is a cream cleanser that is from Alpha. And I honestly loved this stuff at the beginning, but then as soon as I tried other products in the market, which is why I love just changing up my routines and making sure that I try new products while keeping the products that do help do benefit me also in my routine. So I, tr I ended up trying other products that I liked a lot better. And then although they are a very prestigious line, I don't think it's the best one out there for my skin personally. I am a combination, so oily in the T-zone areas and you know, dry patches every now and then. Sometimes my skin just feels really dry, so it just, it varies on a day-to-day -day basis. But, um, I ended up using this one for its entirety. I'm pretty sure I have probably like this much left because it's been struggling to come out. Um, but I have used the Soft Clean, which is one of the other products that I ended up loving. And that one helped my skin out a ton. It made my skin feel soft and radiant. So I'm a huge fan of that. I currently don't possess it right now because I've been wanting to try other cleansers. But what I have been using, ooh, okay, which I will show you guys. It's the Lancome. Um, I don't remember specifically what it's called, but I'll be right back. So I did a quick search on Google and it says that Soft Clean is from Estee Lauder and for a brand like them, they were honestly very affordable when it came to their cleansers. I know that this is more of a medium range. I don't know specifically. Oh, I won't look at you that much. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, she got so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, but for the type of brand that they are, their cleanser was very affordable. It was about $17. And I mean, that you can't complain there in reality. So I guess it would be the medium range it wouldn't really be the super affordable yeah because for the affordable i am thinking zero to 15 or 15 below and then <clears throat> for the medium range i'm thinking typically from 15 plus um plus and for luxury i think it's 50 plus so that's kind of how I base it off of um typically that's what I'm gonna be looking for when I'm looking through those products um this one specifically didn't really have anything I just <laughs> any specific branding I just really wanted to put a video out there on my favorite types of cleansers and hopefully it was a little helpful um I will be going more in depth about my skincare routine and just the products that have been helping me so far. So if you're interested in that, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.